Back tonight, if you've been out of work for a long time and can't find work in the healthcare field because your skills are a little rusty, the U.S. Labor Department has just announced a major grant to help retrain healthcare workers and get them back to work. And that could be good news for you or maybe someone you know. Chief Capital Correspondent Mark Davis joins us now live with more on that tonight. Hi, Mark. Hi, Anna Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, there's help on the way for at least 300 Connecticut residents who are in need of help in getting back on their feet in jobs in the medical field. Ready? One, two, three. These students are in the learning program at the Hospital for Special Care in New Britain, studying to become physical therapists, one of the many jobs in the healthcare field that is anticipated to have high demand in the decades ahead. As everyone gets older, they're going to start needing physical therapy, balance retraining, strengthening endurance. You know, it's important to minimize fall risks. I worked with um, autistic children for about nine years, and I got exposed to physical therapy and occupational therapy and speech therapy. And so that's what kind of made me decide to go make a change in careers and go back to school for occupational therapy. Capital Workforce Partners has received a six and a half million dollar grant from the feds to help retrain out of work LPNs, RNs, and help healthcare IT technicians update their knowledge of the fast changing field and get back to work. The grant should help about 300 people in all. 85% of them will be people who are long term unemployed, mostly people who've either been in healthcare related fields and have not been able to get back into it. The other 15% will be people currently employed but in need of training updates to keep up with the fast changing technology. Our healthcare system is undergoing a transformation right now where we're using information to make care more affordable and better quality. There were 20 states that got grants, 23 grants given, two for the state of Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut did pretty good on these. Uh, the other grant, incidentally, went to the New Haven area. Now, if you think you could use the help uh, that this program is offering to get you back on your feet in the healthcare business, come to our website, WTNH.com, and click on this story. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.